Hey, dear saints, let's talk about the third commandment. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. What does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we do not despise preaching and his word, but hold it sacred, gladly hear and learn it. When I was growing up, we learned about this, the third commandment, and it meant you can't do any work. You can't do anything outside. You just simply have to rest. Well, why that's a small part of the commandment. It is not the whole commandment. The commandment is not about not doing anything. The commandment is about resting. And not resting meaning putting your feet on the couch or sitting up in the hammock. It's resting in Jesus. That's what the commandment is about. Resting in the promises that Jesus gives to us. The whole commandment is again another way that God can give us Jesus that God can give us the forgiveness of sins. And that happens when we rest in him. Listen to what Dr. Luther writes in the large catechism. Whenever God's word is taught, preached, heard, read, or meditated upon, then the person, the day, the work are sanctified. It's not the work of our Sabbathing, our resting. It's the work that Jesus does when we rest in him and he gives us his good gifts. You see, the commandment is not fulfilled by me not working. The commandment is kept when we gladly hear God's word, when we go to worship, when we're resting in his word as we read it, when we're meditating upon it, receiving his gifts. That's what it means, resting in God's word. The psalmist talks about it when he says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Psalm 119, 105. And Luke writes about it when he says, And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teachings, to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayers. You see, dear saints, resting in Jesus, resting in the Sabbath is keeping the commandment. It's resting in Jesus. Now, where's the gospel in the third commandment? Well, the gospel is here. The gospel is in the gifts that happen when we rest in Jesus. Now, we don't gather on the Sabbath, the seventh day, like they did in the Old Testament. We gather on the first day of the week because that gathering is all in Jesus rising from the dead. On the first day of the week, they went to the tomb and they saw Jesus was risen from the dead. On the first day of the week, we gather in worship. And we rest in the promises of Jesus, the promises of a Savior that died for you, the promise of a Savior that rose for you, the promise of a Savior that has forgiven you your sins. And that's what we rest in. We rest in Jesus who says, I will be with you always. I will never leave you or forsake you. You see, dear saints, the third commandment is all about resting in Jesus so that he can give us the gift of forgiveness of sins. Remember your baptism. Live in your baptism. Go in his peace. Thank you for watching Higher Things video shorts. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. and hit that bell icon for content notifications. You can follow Higher Things on social media and on our website, higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing, we ask that you remember us in your prayers and donations.